With the new character release method, we're still trying to find our way through. Sentinel? Looks like it's a done deal, looks like we're going to make sure we get that done. However, when it comes to other characters like Nimrod, I'm having some concerns. Not in the fear mongering, we're going to take a look at the evidence, we're going to find out what's working and what's not, and see if we can make that knowledge work for us. Let's take a look. The Sentinel event in Paid Unlock started on September 3rd. On September 11th, I did a live stream with Big Positive Geek. We were checking out our Orcus Unlock so far, and this is what I had for the Sentinel. Right on September 11th, I had 41 shards. On September 14th, I have 72 shards. So we are well on our way to an unlock. Things are looking good. There's an event coming up called the Fall of the Mutants, and within that event, there are 100 Sentinel shards available. So just progressing what should happen in the future, this should be an easy unlock, right? This character is supposed to be unlocked. Uh, this is, looks like it's the person that they said during these events that they're gonna give, or excuse me, during these team releases, they're gonna have an event for one of the characters. Sentinel seems to be that individual. So hey, we should, none of us really, should have a problem unlocking the Sentinel. Now, the thing that concerns me is if we look at the Sentinel Siege, right at the time that we took this picture, there was 50 days left till the Sentinel event went away. But for Nimrod, it's 20 days. And probably when you're seeing this video, it's less than that. So if we're going for that three week unlock, we're already behind the eight ball. There isn't enough time. So since I know we have enough time to get Sentinel, should I pivot and start going after Nimrod, right? It means I'm going to have to wait a little bit, but I kind of want to get the results now so I can help out in the Orcus raid. But I guess the course of logic would be to pivot to Nimrod. So here are my main account. You see I have 4,000 power cores. And generally speaking, the tactic that I use is when I hit 5,000, I'm going to open an orb. So as we said, I should probably, logic tells me I should probably pivot uh, to Nimrod. So I think I'm going to start doing that. They did say, right, if you see some of the other content creators out there, it looks like with the four-piece team, even with the three-piece team, without Nimrod, you can make progress early in the Orcus raid. So let's look at it from a different perspective. Let's say we're a newer player, right? This is my newer free-to-play account. On September 11th, we had 12 Sentinel Shards. When I did a live stream with Big Positive Geek on the 14th, we had 42 Sentinel Shards. So again, progress is being made and during the course of the event, we're gonna get that hunter. So Sentinel should be in the bag. He should be unlocked. So I think the smart move is indeed to pivot to Nimrod. My baby account, 4,800 cores. So again, I'll be able to purchase another uh, core orb before the weekend is out so maybe we'll start leaning into Nimrod see what good progress we can make there so as we can see the point of consideration might be to pivot start working on Nimrod I'm not sure as to how that's going to play out um, definitely individuals who are more analytical based like Big Positive Geek and Boylan are going to have a better mathematical take on that uh, maybe I'll ask them for some instructions some direction and see what happens but I am curious to know how it's working out so far for you. Hey, if you're enjoying the Orcus team, check out this video here as well. Let me know what you think.